Hello friends, myself Mr. Vishal Angire, Assistant Professor, Department of Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering, Walchan Institute of Technology. Friends, today we are going to study embedded platforms used in IoT. Learning outcome, at the end of this session, students will be able to examine embedded platforms used in IoT applications. Friends, before starting with embedded platforms used in IoT, you should pause this video here and you should recall what is the definition of embedded system, embedded platforms and IoT that is Internet of Things. Now we'll see IoT platform first point. So to fulfill the gap between IoT device and application and to bring physical object online an IoT platform is used. IoT devices are connected to each other to send and receive information using different protocols. So there is a gap between IoT devices and IoT applications. So IoT platform fills the gap between the devices. I want to say that devices is sensors and application means network. So generally IoT platform we are going to use to connect or as a connectivity between IoT devices and IoT applications. So there are so many devices or sensors available with us. So these sensors or devices are to be connected with the IoT applications with the help of IoT platform. So it is a bridge between IoT devices and IoT applications. So we can collect the data from sensors and the IoT applications can also control these devices or sensors. So this is the diagram or block diagram we can say which is to be used for the representation of IoT platform. So first layer is application which consists of data storage or data analytics, consumer applications, industrial applications, business applications or your own application. So there are so many applications and middleware is IoT platform and at the last or last layer it's hardware and the points or the blocks are mobility, tags or backgrounds, sensors, health and fitness devices, consumer electronics, automotive and embedded hardware. So hardware part and applications are to be connected to each other with the help of IoT platform. And there is two way communication between hardware and application. And this is possible because of the IoT platform. So there are several IoT platforms available that provides facility to deploy IoT application actively. First one is Embed IoT platform. Embed makes device development quicker. Embed helps to take a product from prototype to production rapidly from IoT and many other embedded use cases. So Embed is a platform, IoT platform, which is to be used to develop a product 
or a product which is in the form of prototype and that will be converted into production and it is fast for the device development and we can use embed for so many tasks which are to be performed while developing any IoT product. Next platform is Amazon Web Services IoT platform. So this platform collects data from connected device and performs real-time action. Amazon Web Services IoT platform offers a set of services that connect to several devices and maintain the security as well. Next IoT platform is Microsoft Azure IoT platform. So Microsoft Azure IoT platform offers strong security mechanism, scalability, easy integration with systems. It uses standard protocols that support bi-directional communication between connected devices and platform. Next platform is IBM Watson IoT platform. So this is also a best IoT platform which is to be used and key features of IoT Watson platform, IBM uh, Watson platform are real-time data exchange, device management, secure communication, data sensor and weather data services. So generally, uh, if we want to collect uh, data related to weather services or weather management, uh, in that case, IBM Watson IoT platform is best suited. Next platform is Arctic Cloud IoT platform. So Arctic uh, Cloud IoT platform is developed by Samsung to enable devices to connect to cloud services. And it has a set of services that continuously connect devices to the cloud and start gathering data. So generally, uh, this particular cloud platform uh, is to be used to connect devices to the cloud as well as connect connections, sorry, applications to the cloud and data from sensor is to be stored onto the cloud and the processing of data is to be performed. Next IoT platform is Google Cloud platform for IoT. Google Cloud Platform is a global cloud platform that provides a solution for IoT devices and applications. It handles a large amount of data using cloud IoT core by connecting various devices. Next IoT platform is Thingworks Platform. So this platform is a complete end-to-end -end technology platform that is designed for industrial IoT. It facilitates the tools and services that are required to develop and set up connectivity, analysis, production of other aspects of IoT development. So generally for industrial application, ThingWork platform is to be used. Now next point is Embed IoT platform. So, as a part of syllabus, we are going to develop uh, IoT application based on Cortex M3 ARM controller and for that case, uh, we should or we are going to use Embed IoT platform. So there is Embed IO operating system in this Embed IoT platform. So this is open source operating system for Cortex M series devices as well as it has embed Linux OS. So it will be used to run IoT application on Cortex A series devices. This embed IoT platform has some development tools. Uh, into that first one is embed studio. So it is to be used to download the desktop ID for embed OS. And next one is Embed Online Compiler. So we can use Embed Online Compiler for start coding immediately in the browser ID. So in the browser, 
the IDE is to be used for coding purpose and we can compile the code as well as it has embed CLI which is to be used for command line access to embed tools and services. So these are key points uh, which are to be used or which are to be available in embed IoT platform to develop an IoT application. So this is all related to the embedded platforms used in IoT. While preparing this video lecture, I have used these references. Thank you.